Hey guys, Riske and Derry here. Hi. And we're back to play more Mass Effect. Um, so last we left off, we finally got through that fight with the Fist and we met some of the other ambassadors here at the Citadel. And one was an asshole, one was a sweetheart. Can I go this way? Mm-hmm. Nope. Apparently not. Dang it. Open, damn it. All right. I can't wait to just keep exploring this place. This is so fun. Could you spend a moment of your time? Sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Bhatia. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Like, what is the name of this expensive bar? Right? Um, but he pointed this way, so I guess I'll just head Follow on this the way. Arrows. Right? There's arrows everywhere. Exactly. To Citadel Tower, to wards. The elevator down to the wards is located across the plaza from far to your left. There you will find Chores Den, Flux, the markets, and the medical center. Okay, that's where we just were. Citadel Tower is the tall white structure far to your left across the plaza. It houses the council and is the heart of Citadel politics. Right? Wait, maybe... Well, didn't he point the other way? He pointed this to his left. I'm just, oh. what is that exclamation point? Oh, Caden, it's you. There's gotta be a way in there. It's gotta be. <laughs> okay, there's CSEC Academy. We've already been there. Maybe I need to go this yeah. way. We'll try it. All we can do is try. Exactly. Is this a bar? Doesn't really look like one. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Your clothing is very interesting. I wear it. Diplomatic. Oh, okay. Getting points. Good deal. Getting experience. Love that. scan has been uploaded to the database. Cool beans. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I love these guys. They're all right. so nice. Wait. It's over here. No? Nothing? Damn. Big old gentle giants. I know. Like, I want to be friends with one. It's over this way. Maybe this is the bar. Or this. That might be. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Nobody sends me anywhere. I just need some information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarian? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. You'd think an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Was there anything else? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? 
What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. I'll be going now. Alright, well, that was an interesting conversation. It's over here. Computer console, yes. I will try to de-equip. Yeah, I feel like de -crypt. you're on it. Mm -hmm. Begin manual override, alright. Square, circle, X, try. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eda cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Damn. Mm. Well, that was intense. I don't like that. Same. So wait, that was sent to like all the ambassadors? Um, I think it was sent to like all of a certain race here in the Citadel. I just don't know which one. Hey, this looks like a bar. Um, Clerk Bosker. Oh wait, I think that's who I need to talk to. I just want to see if I can talk to anybody else. Bartender, I'm going to hit you up later. Sana, private who? Private oh, Fredericks. Would never okay, I'll talk to you in a second. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Batia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other Will questions. do. Okay. I want to talk to this guy. He seems like he knows stuff. What are you... Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Okay. So I'll let oh boy know about his wife. And then... Are you kidding me? Jesus. And then I'll go across and talk to that chick. Right. It's the place with that Palin guy. 
Why do these doors open so slow? I have places to be. Right? All right, Batia. Bad news. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Hell if I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I just spit everywhere. That was so bad. Same. I just took a bite <laughs> of this little tangerine thing mm -hmm. and like, I was in my mouth fully. Oh no. And then, when I took a bite and I was like, what? I hate when that happens. Okay, Seasec like Academy said she's across the bridge from the embassy. Mm. What's this? Can I go on this? No? What do you have to say Everything for yourself? Everything looks so clean. Right? It doesn't look real. Like... It's not, but... <laughs> like, in the way that, like, just, it seems a little too perfect. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the Institute in Fallout. Yep. Don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> we will get there eventually. Uh. Let's see, this is over a bridge. Yep. In the financial district. What's up? What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing? Okay. I mean, it's probably good that I can't just... I want just... one of them purple magenta outfits. Same! They're so cute! You again. That shit. How could I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Okay, no. Nothing new. Never mind. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Toodles. Um... Toodaloo. Is she down here, maybe? Wait, I think I... I do kind of want to try to buy some things. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Let's see. Standard items. So I just wanna... Ooh. Okay. I can't afford any of this. This is so depressing. Story of my life. Serta Foundation License. Trying to find a coffee table at Walmart. Everything's over a hundred dollars. Right. Like what? I don't know what this means, but I should probably buy it. And it's only a hundred dollars. Only a hundred. <laughs> or whatever their currency is. Like okay. comfortable armor. I'll buy that later. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's upset. Yeah. It's up here. You got anything for me? Keeper scan is uploaded to the database. Cool beans. I hate how they just have crates just laying around everywhere. Right, and I can't investigate like any of them. I'm like, no, like, why can't I break this, like Zelda? You know, just like break I mean, that shit up and get I some can. shit. No, it's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know where this chick is. Supposed to be across from the embassies. Right? I thought. I don't know. Maybe she's like upstairs or something. I really hate running around not knowing what I'm doing. There. Mm, to see second embassies this way. But she's across from the embassy. Right. So she should be on this side. Wait. Maybe I should try going down there. Nalina. Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. 
What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Cool. Tell me I'm gonna be on a waiting list. You don't put the commander on a waiting list. I'll talk to y'all when I come back down. And then all these hallways look the same, so I'm just like, where are we? I couldn't imagine, like, living in a place like that. That is close enough, com I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Okay. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I mean, depending I on what to see. Is she like a captain or what? A major? Uh, Lieutenant. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Shepard. Risque Shepard. Because <laughs> I got to name her, so I was like, hell yeah. The Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Okay, and what am I supposed to do with that information? This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Mm -hmm. I see even the humans find the concert irresistible. Sure. Okay, well that was interesting. So I have mm -hmm. to go back to Chores Den, which is where we just were in that fucking shootout. Yep. I don't even remember how to get there. Uh because I think they said embassies. I think it's in the tower. No, the tower is where the council is. I wish I could help, but <laughs> no idea. Right, okay, I think we came from this way. Yes, this looks familiar. Avina, where are you? Tell me where I am. Avina, there you are. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. 
Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. I don't care about any of that right now. That's all for now. Thank I was just hoping she could give me directions. Um, what's this way? All right, the shop. Okay, I remember that. It was in the wards. The wards. That's where it was. Wait. Wards, yeah. That's where we will find Cora's den. Okay. So I just need to follow that symbol with the circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet. This is doable. These twos. Wards. Perfect. Uh, even better. I love fast traveling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll transform me, please. I'm like, I don't have time to run over, run all over this goddamn citadel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I, the Gentleman's Club in the wards. Great. I really hope I don't have to kill anybody else. Oh, you're gonna have to. <laughs> We've gone way too long with peace. Fair. Oh, so this is what it looks like when there aren't people trying to kill me in it. Mm. Where are you, General? Oh. Harkin, there we go. Oh, I guess that's not who we... Oh, General Septimus, there we go. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Then why create rumors and lies about this woman? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general? What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am, a tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower, or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well... The last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Oh, I will. It's, there's no might about it. I will. I will make a good general one day. All right. Let's get out of here. Nope. No, in real life, she would have been written out of. <laughs> True. 
and be in her file. And Especially because she is an asshole. I've made her a huge asshole. Because <laughs> she doesn't take shit. Because commanders and lieutenants don't have time. Right. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this video here, and we'll go to the embassies in the next video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell, shoot them a snub and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.